So this is one of the chickens. I don't know if you can see her very well. There she is in there. What is her name, so on? I don't know. Uh, Kentucky Fried. Yep, this is Kentucky Fried the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get a bit closer. Hi, Kentucky. This is Soan. Hi. His parents own a kimchi factory here in Jinda. So you saw some of the kimchi outside and early this morning they were also shipping some. And here's some more. It's just all kimchi. Who's hungry? Today we are going to, what are we doing today, Soan? We're gonna pick some mushrooms mm -hmm. first. And then we're going to post office to buy some mask for coronavirus mm -hmm. and then we'll buy a parmesan cheese and just walk around along the, along the coast mm -hmm. and then we're going to eat lamb! lamb. Yeah, it's all you can eat lamb yeah. so and it's unlimited unlimited so that those are our plans for today and we're going to take you with us so you get to see a bit of jingle So this is the mushroom farm and all of these little things there, that's where the mushroom spores are so that we can grow more. So we have some ingredients that we're going to throw into some pasta and we're going to make some lunch. All of this is fresh and straight from the factory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the great thing about Korea because you can just meet people who make everything themselves. Yeah. And it's so delicious. I mean, just out the front here, his mother is also making some gangjang. So she's making her own soy sauce and it looks like it's just started. There's no, um, it, it looks really fresh, so it still has time. Let me show you. So you can see in here, we've got um, blender. Yeah, and meju. Meju, mm -hmm. some, so some charcoal, mm -hmm. um, some gochu, so some chilies. Uh, and that's like, those are um, compacted soybeans and everything's fermenting now. And you can see there's just starting to get that little bit of mold on the top to help it. So this will sit here for three to six months. And proper soy sauce takes over a year to make properly. So on and I are just going to head down to the shop to pick up some, um, a couple more ingredients. Uh, just things that you can't normally buy here, well, that you just can't make here. So we're going to get some pans and cheese because we're doing a pasta. I have to put on a mask before we can go anywhere because coronavirus. And um, you saw that yesterday when I arrived, we had to um, get a check. So I had a temperature check just at the bridge coming into Jindo. So yeah, they're being very careful with the coronavirus right now. We're about to head out and we're going to get some masks first and then we'll get some stuff for lunch. Believe it or not, this is how green onions travel. So when we got into town, I realized I forgot my ID, so just running back, but check this out, a Porsche. So we just arrived at the pharmacy to get left. The 
get the coronavirus, we only buy masks for so like each day. So I burn in 97, which means I only buy so which means I can only buy masks on Tuesday and Thursday. And today is luckily the is Thursday, so we can buy one. Getting someone's uh, mask was pretty easy, so but when it came to me, not quite. Look, there's that Porsche again. Oh my gosh. Um, but I got them, and off we go to find some parmesan cheese. Yeah, so right now we're still struggling finding parmesan because it's Jindo, which is really rural area in Korea. Let's try Hanaro. No parmesan. <laughs> okay, well, there's one more place that we can try. We couldn't find a bottle of parmesan cheese, so we went to the pizza shop and got individual packs instead. <laughs> but somebody's losing them. So to find out what someone made for me for lunch, you'll have to click on the link. I will put that up as soon as the video is ready. We planned to go for a walk along the coast after lunch, but we didn't do that. Instead, we went into the hills to have a look at some other parts of the mushroom farm. mother is amazing. While we were walking around she would suddenly pick something from the ground and it would be edible roots like bracken or mugwort and um, and she would share them with me and she tells me mugwort is very good for my breasts but she's just this fount of knowledge and it's just amazing how much we can learn from her. She was so cool to go around with. But now it's time for us to head back so we can go get ready for dinner. Right now we've arrived at the at the lamb place and so here's the south and I tried it. So we're gonna show you how to cook again. While we wait for our unlimited lamb skewers to arrive, we're just uh, making some eggs and some kimchi chon, which is a kimchi pancake. And that will go with our food as panchan, so as side dishes while we're eating. Mm -hmm. 
When you're eating at a Korean restaurant, the side dishes or the pantan are unlimited and they're free. So if you run out of side dishes and you really like them, don't be afraid to put your hand up or press the button if there is one and just point at the one that you want. Ego do juseo. This one again, please. And they will bring you some more. If you know the name of it, it really helps. So gamja do juseo, more potatoes, please. But otherwise, just pointing at the bowl. Ego do juseo. This one again, please. And remember, panchan are unlimited. Yeah, so this is a double scoop, mm -hmm. Korean size, mm -hmm. and normally in America that is child children. That yeah, that's child size, or maybe it's just combined. It would be one scoop. Yeah. <laughs> or just taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got the cup and my one is tiramisu and Baby, how you feel it? Feeling good as hell. <laughs> It's about that time so we are heading home and the area we had dinner in is called Mokpo that is about um, 45 minutes driving from Jindo so we will catch you next time for day two of my trip to Jindo um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you on the next video bye